Hi everyone, welcome to part two of the house renovation vlogs. Um, yeah, I think that in this vlog we've got, of course, we've got a couple of hauls because when you get a house, all you do is shop, shop, shop. And I think um, I'm getting some quite major furniture deliveries, plus maybe potentially building some furniture. So um, stay tuned if you want to see what I get up to over the next couple of weeks. Hey guys it's becky and welcome to my channel um i've recently just bought my first home and i'm currently in the process of doing it up buying lots of furniture just getting loads of stuff for it really because i'm kind of starting from nothing which is super super exciting um so yeah if you're if you're into kind of interior design um kind of a bit of diy i don't do too much diy but the bits of diy following around ikea denelm the range where else do we go mum oh, oh we've got home so. bargains today garden centers garden centers all that jazz but i also do plus size fashion and a little bit of beauty as well so just a bit of everything on this channel um so yeah it's a good time for all um so we're gonna start with a little home bargains Dunelm and a garden center <laughs> It's a bit of everything. So we'll start with Danelle. Now, I don't know about you guys, I always thought Danelle was meant to be kind of affordable. <laughs> like the range and home bargain prices, but it's not that cheap, is it, Mum? So it again, it's not that cheap, is it, Danelle? They've got some good prices, but I do think you have to be careful. You can spend a lot there. I didn't. I pick something up without a price. Yeah, Mum was. You're saying that if there's not a price on it, it's probably really expensive. An mm. egg poacher, a little <laughs> device that you put in a boiling pan of water, a little plastic thing, thirteen pound fifty. No, it was actually more than that. Actually, more than that. It was fourteen. Fourteen nine. Fourteen ninety nine. So we are careful, aren't we, when we go to Danelle? We definitely. Are. Oh, I've not got the scissors. I haven't got the scissors down there, guys. So you're not going to see the scissors. But we're going to start off <laughs> with where are they? Ah, I found them. So one of you guys said, "I have to get the minky pegs." <laughs> We looked everywhere for the minky pegs. We looked for everywhere for the minky pegs. So they did have a little plastic container that came with, I think, 24 minky pegs. And that was £10. But this pack of 36 was £6. And then this was 5 And this is so much cuter. Um, so for an extra pound, I got more pegs. And this is just cuter than a plastic doobie doo, isn't it, Mum? It's yeah. so much cuter. I don't think you could leave it outside. I would think so. I, it would go rusty. No, it's more just for my cleaning cupboard. Because I want to make my cleaning cupboard... Oh, oh, dropped it. <laughs> I want to make my cleaning cupboard kind of organised and look nice as possible. So this was a fiver, which I think is a great price. And yeah, just loads of minky pegs. So mum's got me a minky washing line. Um, and then one of you guys said the minky pegs are amazing so probably more than i'll need so i'll probably give you mum some so you can try the minky pegs too but i liked all the nice colors very nice i never thought i'd see my daughter going crazy over washing up washing up washing line pegs wow i must find that photograph of you when you were about 18 months sat in the garden on a on a mat i think sorting I'm... my pegs out well, there you go, guys. We'll try and find that photo. You've got a couple of weeks to hunt it out. Oh, right. Okay. Um, then up next, um, I am getting... I haven't bought it yet, but it's, it's a back in stock at Ikea, Mum, so we need to go get it. Um, <laughs> this big... I think it's an eight-drawer dresser for my bedroom. I was going to get the Malm. I think I told you in the last video I was getting the Malm. But on further... What do you call it? Mulled it over. I've mulled it over and I've decided I don't want that one. I want one with like proper little like door handles rather than it like made with like the male ones upstairs. They don't have knobs. 
Okay. No knobs. No knobs. So um, they just pull out. They just pull out. Okay. They've just got like a slat. And while they're great, because everyone has them, I've had them everywhere I've lived, and I just want to change. I just want to change one. So I'm getting. I put a picture up here. I'm getting this, but it's got black knobs and that doesn't go with what i'm doing for my bedroom and i found these absolutely stunning these have been handmade they're like ceramic they are gorgeous uh they're white with like the natural i think like clay um like a pattern oh with the glaze stunning three pounds for two and i needed six packs so how much six times three 18 is that it 18 18 pounds for those knobs i think that's a really good price i thought for a minute you wanted 18 no you, know, you haven't got 18 You've no got 18 pounds because i was looking on anthropology and there was one i really liked and it was six pound for one for one knob guys so that would have been a fortune so i'm really really happy with these i think they're so stunning for the price you really can't go wrong um and mum did get me some scissors <laughs> and herself some scissors didn't you <laughs> they had this like <laughs> wall of scissors and they were all like different colors of different patterns on they're only two pounds so yeah got some gray scissors <laughs> with my kitchen <laughs> then went to a garden center today and got this opalescent uh, it's called an opal solar powered lantern and it's, but i've heard very mixed reviews about these kind of solar panel things but i really liked it i have got some garden furniture on the way and we got the deal of all deals didn't we mum at my, the local garden centre near oh, us yes, yes. i am a bargain under i love a sale um and i found last year's parasols reduced to 25 pounds each and they're a crank a crank one a and a ratchet a ratchet parasol um so they were 50 pounds last year this is this is the killer inflation's so sh crazy at the moment that Although those umbrellas were £50 last year, the new stock coming in is about £70 for the same style of umbrella. So not only was it £50 last year, it was half price. So we got this umbrella perfectly fine. Got two for mum as well, 25 quid. And they're three metres. They're really big size. So we're very pleased. But they're grey with this like pink, lilac-y, pinky purple rim. They're super cute and it's a girl's garden, so yeah, I think I'm going to be going for like a pinky grey with like pops of like blue and stuff in the garden. Uh, but it's a garden at the end of the day. <laughs> it, there's lots of colours going on there, but I just thought this would look really nice on my dining table set, which was also a bargain from being q I think you'll be seeing that being delivered in this video but whether i build it is a whole other question <laughs> so home bargains oh i love home bargains me and my mate bex went last weekend got some bits but didn't film um but from that little mini haul i decided i should have picked up some other bits and they do delivery so i bought this already from um the shop and i decided i wanted to get another set because these were eight pounds for six of these containers um, and i really like them and i one video that will be coming guys is i'm gonna do oh they're white oh <laughs> i've got white and gray ones now well, that's okay that's okay your back backslash is gray and white i think Not Can't go wrong with <laughs> <laughs> lesson number two well, that's okay. This is okay. It's okay. It's okay. My other bag is great. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> no, it really is fine. But I do want to get, like, the labels and all of that. I want to do, like, a whole, like, um, organisational video. Um, but, yeah, I just really liked these. So you get two of the small ones. Ooh, and then these are the 
medium sized one good for like sugar or something um and yeah these 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 plastic pots can get really really expensive um especially like like i was looking at m s even in the sale they had like sets of three that were like 18 pounds and i was gonna buy them i was gonna buy them folks i think they might be a little bit more airtight than these ones because they had like clips or something but these will be fine for now um so yeah got these for eight pounds then pyrex i love i love a pasta bake i love a lasagna i love a macaroni cheese <laughs> any form of baked pasta is my cup of tea um obviously i am living at this house by myself for most of the time uh, so a whole pasta bake normally lasts me a good few meals um so these pyrex have a plastic lid so i can cook a pasta bake probably three portions in here and then the two portions i can put in the fridge and it's got a lid already so i don't need to waste cling film or tin foil um and also this could be great if you know going around a, a friend's house like a dinner party or something and i've got something to bring around or when mom has a barbecue Ooh. can bring something around oh pa pesto pasta salad <laughs> mm, that's what i'll bring <laughs> but um pyrex is a great brand it's uh great for cooking in you can freeze it store it. there's so many things you can do with pyrex i but really like the brand put the plastic lid in no the oven. no 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 don't put the plastic lid in the oven but the this you can cook in of course you can and i've I'll always used pyrex the, always yeah. always just go for pyrex over you know whatever other brands are out there i just always stick with them and whoop, I got this little baby one as well, which is more of like a individual. Of course, don't forget you can't use Pyrex on the top of your oven. It's for oven. You mean grill? I wouldn't even put it under the grill. I don't no, that's what I mean. Don't don't put it under the grill. Well, don't put it under the grill, but equally, don't put it on top of your gas or your hob. Oh no! I never like... would never cook on a hob. No, no, just in case people are looking. You know, you want. It's make got sure. all the instructions oh, on the front. I'm sorry. It tells you everything that you oh, can do. Working um cook in the oven without lid store in free fridge or freezer reheat in the microwave but i think you can use the lid in the microwave oh yes but um, as long as then you don't put the lid <laughs> i think i'll show it up people yeah know how to use and serve uh and you can serve in the dish so thermal shock goes up to 220 celsius um but it can go up to 300 celsius if you preheat it and it goes up to minus 40 in the freezer. I don't know whose freezer gets to minus 40, but I just thought this was a great set. I wonder if I can put them, I might be able to store them inside each other. That would be good. Um, but yeah, they were a really, really great price on um, Home Bargains. Never pay full price for Pyrex. It always goes on sale. Then I feel like I've bought a lot of baking trays. I feel like you can never have enough because they do wear quite quickly. Um, and these just looked really good. They had loads of the Hairy Biker range. Um, I've seen quite a bit of There's this like pie maker. It's an electric, you know, like a waffle maker. Um, but for making pies, I'm going to get my dad that for Father's Day. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've seen that all over TikTok. Um, and people love it but this is they're, they're just some really nice large baking trays i think these were three pounds each down from eight pounds uh which is a bargain um, and they feel really good for, like they're like thick it's hard to explain you can probably see the quality they're not flimsy they're not like warping with me wobbling <laughs> very nice quality they've got a little hairy biker logo on the back um and i do like uh i like a chicken goujon uh so they go in the the oven quite often good for like chips and stuff i don't know why i'm telling you what oven trays are good for uh, and then finally i got these baskets so one says vegetable on the inside and then there's one that says fruit uh these are just two baskets i think these were five pounds 
um but i just thought it's just nice little bits of storage for the kitchen um i do like when mum puts her like potatoes onions in a cupboard don't you in the dark Ooh. so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> that's normal isn't it what putting your potatoes in the cupboard Goodness me, if you leave them out in the light, they, they sprout, they go green, and then they're Good poisonous. Green. Poisonous, poisonous. So, um, but I like fruit from the fridge. So, so yeah, this is everything that I got from Home Bargains and Dunelm. I will see you in the next clip. So, guys, we are heading into B&Q. What are we getting? Paint. Just some more Indico, or well, Indico paint, radiator paint and parasol bases possibly possibly yeah. i feel like we've been at b and q more God, than no, ever in stop. our life more than ever in our life um so yeah and then we're going to ikea again <laughs> is this getting boring or what yeah is this getting boring no never no never boring <laughs> Do you guys think I have enough room for this jacuzzi? <laughs> How cool! And only 360 pounds. I have got some outdoor lights that are a bit more like the black traditional, but I'm loving. Where is it? This one up here, it's silver, and it's currently in the clearance for 15 pounds. Um, so they're really cute. I don't really, it's not really on my urgently need to do list replacing the lamps, but these are really, really cute. And they've got an enormous selection. Look at that huge one. That's for like a manor. So um, garden furniture apparently doesn't come out until April. Uh, so <laughs> we're very keeny beanies. I do think though it's always good to have a look now because some stuff is still like in clearance. Um, I got my garden set from B&Q reduced a couple of weeks ago over half price. So now is a really good time to have a look and see if there's any uh, end of year muggins. Uh, now we're gonna drop the paint off. I'll give you an update on the house and uh, then we're gonna go to Ikea. So, oh. Oh! No, I was oh, dear me. I haven't got my lipstick on. You keep saying that. I know. Um, so we're going to show you a quick update on the house. Mum's going to shush her hair up. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is probably a couple of weeks update potentially. So, yeah. So obviously still very much a work in progress. Um, we've just done a quick coat over the... Um, the back walls uh they did suck a lot of paint in because it's not been plastered where the uh cupboards were we're just trying to seal it in best as we can um but our painter decorator is actually going to decorate this room after um the the units have been fitted so that's his choice <laughs> then um this is now fully decorated in here the paint i chose is called jasmine white um and these are the door handles I have gone for. But the spindles on these door handles are too thick. And that's why they are so difficult to open. So we're actually going to use the old spindles. But with these new handles I got off Amazon. They were really, really cheap. And exactly the same size as the old ones. But obviously just totally revamped. Um, we've also painted all the radiators. This all came before the kitchen all came. Kitchen video is obviously in progress. Obviously, the uh, the staircase has been painted. Um, I think that's going to have another coat. Um, but I think the hallway is pretty much done now as well. I really like the subtle difference in the two tones of white. Um, and... We have in here, that's looking so much better now. 
Um, and also, guys, I've had the carpets professionally cleaned. You guys were very concerned for me. Um, so, yeah, ended up getting them cleaned professionally. He's done upstairs, um, but we'll need to come back to do downstairs. And then here's the other room. Everything's smelling really good now. Very uh, painty. So yeah, that's up, that's the update on the house. We're here and it's so busy. This is the third floor. There's mum again. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be a bit crazy in store today. It was just red guys, but it's now green. So everyone is charging. <laughs> I feel like we're getting a sense of deja vu. <laughs> I really like this mirror, guys, and I think I'm going to get it this week. Um, I've been, I've been thinking, I've been dreaming about this mirror. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I have picked up some fake eucalyptus. Free stems, three pounds each. Pan and Pam. <laughs> Pan and Pam have made this pancake. Yeah. What's it like, Mum? It's delicious. <laughs> it's worth coming in. Really nice blueberry jam. I think we'll have to get some of that. The They're the girls. Chefs. It's <laughs> so guys, I've been looking for an accent chair for my bedroom. And I've just found this one in this really pretty uh, fake bedroom. And it's called the Buscabo. And it's, oh, it's out of stock. It's 129, so I'll have to put my notifications on, but I think that's a really good price. I love the size, it feels really strong and sturdy, so gonna keep an eye out for when that comes back in. So we have this option here, which is six drawers, like so. And that's 135. It's hard to show you. It's so big. That's the first option. And this is the other option. Uh, this is the eight drawer. It just feels a little bit more sturdy and I like it's got little drawers on the top to like put like deodorant, socks, knicky knacks. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this one. Guys, it's pretty manic. It's pretty manic, isn't it, mum? Oh, manic Street Peaches Manic. <laughs> the queue for the lift was about 15, 20 people deep, wasn't it? It was. It we was. had to go downstairs. We had to carry our stuff. <laughs> that was where we did it all right. Otherwise we'd be up there waiting, wouldn't we? We would, we would. So, uh, what are we looking for down there? Oh, we're just having a good look. Yeah, good old mooch. Good old mooch. Now we haven't brought your dad. Sorry, <laughs> Dad. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, we'll keep you up to date if we can on what we pick up. What are you looking at, Mum? Uh, nothing just really. Just anything. Waiting for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just picked up three of these jars. They're only three pounds each, and I feel like they'll be great for pack um, pasta, rice. They've got it. It was muesli up there. They do a smaller one, but I don't really know what I'd put in the small one. The small one is two pounds, which I think's not as good value. <laughs> Mum's just got a pack of six of these. I've already got so many wine glasses <laughs> for my house, so I would get these if I didn't already have. Um, them. I think these are the ones that everyone gets because they look super, super oh, fancy. Okay. They look way more expensive than they are. Two pounds each uh, individually. And we got six. Just picked up the curtain rails. You can get um, like double stack. We're doing that in the living room, but I'm doing blinds and one curtain upstairs. So IKEA are like super cheap and like it's very like flexible. Um, yeah, so a great place to pick up your current rounds and they do it in like grey and black as well. The queues are pretty insane. We've got all of our goods. Also, the IKEA blue bag now has a zip. What is this? It's madness, isn't it, Mum? Absolute madness. I've never seen that before. It's as big as a bed, like never lie down. And we managed to get all this together and I only squished one of Mum's fingers. <laughs> So here is this lovely vase we picked up in the vase section. I don't think I filmed that bit, so I wanted to show you the um, well, the eucalyptus. fake eucalyptus leaves in the vase. Let me, we've just had some lunch, so <laughs> that's the point. 
This is to get so you can know what the proportions are like versus a glass of wine. <laughs> So this whole thing was £19, the vase was 10 and three sprigs of the eucalyptus uh, were £3 each. So yeah, £19 for the whole thing. I absolutely love it. I think it's going to add a really nice bit of height and dimension um, in my bedroom and those kind of colours, those kind of vibes. So I'm really, really pleased with it. So guys, we've had quite a major delivery. I think you can guess what it might be from where we are standing. it's my bed <laughs> so this is from dreams um i really liked the experience i had at dreams they had this like bare electric bed that you like like laid on and it recommended what bed was right for you so obviously being the plus size babe that i am it recommended very firm which i love a firm bed this is the one i went for i will not lie to you this wasn't a cheap bed <laughs> But I do get quite a lot of shoulder pain from the way I sit down at work. So a bed's really important to me. So we are going to actually move the door to go outwards because I can't centre the bed um, if, if the door remains like this. So that is something we're going to work on <laughs> um, but it is an ottoman bed so uh, loads of storage underneath i'm not going to show you because i'll have to do it one-handed but it is a little bit of effort <laughs> but yeah it's so it's such a lovely mattress and i love the cream velvet vibes this was a really i think it was like under 400 pounds the the bed frame which i thought was really reasonable and we got it assembled um i'd highly highly recommend just paying for the assembly um they were so so friendly really really fast really really quick really respectful of the house they took their shoes off and everything um and honestly it's such a big job for someone that doesn't make these every day um that i just think it is kind of worth the price is say if you compared that with how much this might cost if you did a task rabbit um so yeah i uh, we're really happy that we chose to do that so yeah oh my gosh it's really hard to show you but yeah this is my new bed this is me on the bed <laughs> oh guys i can't explain to you how comfortable this is but this is also a really weird angle um but i've also got my bedding that i bought the other day but i just need to work out if i'm buying new pillows and duvets <laughs> or if i'm gonna bring the ones from home because i'm a very a very routine person like i like what i know because i find it really hard to sleep so <laughs> just had the garden furniture delivered it's enormous big shout out to the bnq boys who literally squeezed it through the fence <laughs> they were such troopers it is huge I've got a tarpaulin and I'm gonna cover it up until I build it. But this was a bargain. This was like 400 pounds from 920. And uh, yeah, looking forward to using it in the summer. Is that it's the end of this renovation vlog video. Thanks so much for joining me uh, for this chapter. Uh, we have got some more big deliveries on the way um yeah lots more to come so definitely hit subscribe and i will catch you in the next video with some even bigger updates and maybe less uh less ikea <laughs> see you soon bye